every year with the leaves changing from their beautiful vibrant colors to a dull brown littering the forest floor comes the realization that the canoe tripping season is coming to an end. When Pierre, Alain and I came together to plan our last trip of 2021, although we had had an amazing season so far, we felt the season would be incomplete without visiting the jewel of flat water canoe tripping, Algonquin Park. In this week's video, we travel from Rock Lake and spend our first night on a little island of Louisa Lake to then continue our journey southeast through Harry's and Welcome Lake to finally reach Penn Lake after a long day of travel with well over four and a half kilometers of portaging, leaving us with only a small day of travel back to where we started. The days are short, the temperatures drop below freezing every night, and the portages are, as usual, brutally long and challenging because, well, my canoe is an 85-pound Royal X Swift Des Moines. It's pretty chilly this morning. We have a big portage to do, three kilometers, and uh, for the first time, I'm a little excited about it because, well, Hopefully it'll warm me up because I just haven't been able to warm up since this morning. Oh, that's not good. Stepped into mud. Got both of my feet wet. The section there was almost impossible to get through without getting uh, my feet wet. Why is everything so wet? Why? We're trying to make time on this long portage. So Pierre just bombed ahead with all the odds and ends and his, uh, and his barrel and his pack to the other side while I slowly kind of trek my way uh, with the canoe and uh, my pack. And then when he, once he gets to the other side, he's supposed to come back and basically relieve me of either my pack or, or the canoe. And, Trying to make a bit of a better time than the full double carry. But uh, this is not easy. Oh, camping in November. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Made it to our lake. For today, we're gonna just paddle down the lake now, collect some firewood, and I have never been so excited for a fire. <laughs> still pretty windy but at least the sun's out and when the sun comes out at this time of the year it makes a world of difference.
have to say when I came back um, from cutting all that wood, I changed from my wet shoes to my down booties and, uh, and I put some insulated pants as well. So I had the time to warm up before the fire came up, but this fire is very much welcome. The wind was, was really what uh, was making it hard. Now with this nice fire, we're gonna be ready to cook. And I've got some good food again. This is how you fix uh, putting too much water. You add a second one. <laughs> oh no! The vast majority went in the fire, right? Uh, like <laughs> hard. Very. It'll thicken. <laughs> <laughs> It'll thicken. Pretty good. Good job, big. Mm. Oh yeah. Good night. There's nothing like downing a dirty coffee before hitting some pretty big portages. I think it's gonna be a good day. I'm just gonna tell you I rejigged the canoe and I uh, got a rope set up. I took my tow line and hooked it at the back but brought the rope all the way to the front so that I can help myself balance the canoe by pulling on it. Game changer. I don't need my arms above my head anymore to constantly be pushing it up. The lake is just down here uh, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna cross this mud patch. A different solution. No! No! Muddy feet! That's gonna suck. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll cross on that birch log with the rope and pull you guys and pull the boat along. Take two. Okay. Sketchy! 
Okay, abort the boat. Okay, we're good. Pull them in. You know what, the rope actually helps me stabilize myself quite a bit. I can lean with it. Here we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Okay. Should have thought of this first. Now both my feet are wet. Chicken curry. Smells good. Oh yeah, that's really good man. Ooh With pineapple. Oh, and it's spicy. Oh, it's a good kind of spicy. Mm. Decided to grab a quick lunch before we head on to our big portage in the end. I think it's, it was a good choice. Some good energy. I'm gonna crush this. And we're gonna go. Last one, 350, let's go. 295, let's go. Last portage for the trip. Oh, 
Well, I guess this marks the end of our 2021 canoe camping trip season. Maybe there'll be time for a small overnight here or there, but for multi days, this is it. Started a little uh, rough and cold, but we had a good finish. This morning's paddle has been an absolute blessing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.